A-level maths ranges from topics of multi-layer differentiation to those scary mechanic questions that just seem almost impossible to do. But it's not impossible. And actually, it's only going to require two things from you guys, which we all really have an abundance of time and effort. Getting an A-star, yeah, it seems to be quite difficult in A-level maths, especially considering the grade boundaries from this year. But let's have a little bit of a closer look at these grade boundaries. So to get an A-star, at Excel specifically here, you need 244 marks out of a possible 300 marks. So let's just break that down a little bit. What, where do these 300 marks come from? The 300 marks come from three papers, each consisting of 100 marks. In total, if you just split up the proportions into what's pure, what's mechanics, what's stats. 100 marks is the mechanics and stats paper. 50 marks is mechanics, 50 marks is statistics. The other 200 marks, each 100 coming from paper one and paper two, comes purely from pure content. So what do you need to do? Make sure you know pure content like the back of your hand. You need to make sure pure is the thing that takes priority when it comes to your revision. I'm not saying neglect statistics or mechanics, but make sure you prioritize pure and then focus on the mechanics and focus on the statistics. I personally found mechanics the most difficult. So getting those marks in statistics was a lot more easy than mechanics. But I made sure that the content knowledge that I had on Pure was top notch. I made sure I knew Pure like the back of my hand. So that's my main advice there. Make sure that's the case. And when you put it into perspective, 244 marks, well, if you know pure like the back of your hand, really, you should be quite good, to be honest. You'll get those marks from the mechanics paper. You'll get those marks from the statistics papers. But make sure you know pure very well. My name is Mohammed, and I'm a fourth year medical student here at the University of Birmingham. In this video, we're going to tackle everything that you guys need to do and a step-by-step -step solution in how to get an A-star in A-level maths, regardless of the level that you're currently working at. Trust me, being the person who's come from COVID years, having had to learn all the content by themselves, and then still having some in class assessments trust me i know what i need to do in order to get that a star in a level maths so we're going to split this up into three key aspects first and foremost the understanding aspect and we're going to have two other parts that we're going to touch upon later on do stay tuned first and foremost when it comes to an understanding i can't lie it, it really just depends on you are you focusing in class if not what are you going to do otherwise there's a whole bunch of youtube videos to use out there or you could just refer back to your textbook i personally especially when we didn't have any teaching when it came to covid days we were directed to one resource in particular that was phenomenal when it came to learning the content and is understanding what's going on in every single topic and that revision material was TL maths. TL maths is absolutely incredible. Watch the videos, go through the examples and trust me he will put you on the right path. Other people might just prefer going through the textbook and having a look at the textbook examples. Either way is fine, just make sure you use something that's going to help you understand the topic very well. Or if you want, I mean you could just come to me because I do offer private tutoring when it comes to A-level maths, also A-level chemistry, biology and also the respective GCSE subjects as well. So if you guys do want, do contact me, my email is in the description, contact me via my email, my Instagram, my TikTok, whatever social media that I have down in the description, use that to contact me if you are interested. But back to what I was saying, the next bit is practicing now that you've understood the topic the next thing for you to do is make sure you've practiced what you've understood just to see and test yourself whether you do or do not actually understand what's going on and how you're going to do that just questions really and that's the key thing with maths understand questions understand questions for me personally i just found exposing myself to a whole bunch of questions on the same topic is what helped me for example so one go through your textbook questions even though it feels like there's a lot of repeated questions questions that are very similar to every single one of them because trust me you're not going to be getting 100 percent of them you're going to be making silly mistakes along the way so use those questions to refine your skills make sure that you're not making those dumb mistakes here and there and then i also use certain websites like P physics and maths tutor they have this one particular material known as the solomon press worksheets which are once again very very useful because they have a lot of questions for every single topic. And obviously, the last resource, make sure you're just doing a whole bunch of exam questions as well. That's the thing that's going to help you a lot. Continuously, continuously, continuously practicing, practicing, practicing is the only way that you're going to get better. But it's not about just mindlessly practicing a whole bunch of questions. After you've done a certain amount of questions, this leads me on to the next step, which is learning from your mistakes use the mark scheme see where you went wrong and make sure are you understanding where you went wrong because you don't want to be doing that same mistake again and again and again and again because that's going to cost you at the end of the day the key thing from this step you learn from that mistake you understand where you've gone wrong and you've understood how you're going to make sure that you're not going to do that same mistake ever again and there you go all you need to now do is repeat this for every single topic and i guarantee you if you've done this for every single topic for your a level subject whether it's a level maths or any other subject trust me you'll most definitely get an A star. When it comes to A-level maths, it's really just that, putting in that time and effort to get to know the topic, 
understand what's going on in the topic, what the topic trying to explain to you, and then practice the, the knowledge that you've gathered on that topic using practice questions and also exam style questions. And then any mistakes that you get, make sure you're learning from those mistakes. Make sure that you're not making those same mistakes ever again. And 100% you're not going to be getting anything below an A star in the exam. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, do you like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the push notifications once so you never miss out on mangas like this. I mean, it's quite short and sweet, really, to the point. This is literally exactly what you need to do. The formula that you guys need to use to cook on A-level maths, and you'll be fine. So do let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, any tips, any suggestions. Um, if you have any questions as well, put it in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in a bit.